My Hero Academia, Season 7, Episode 17. Chicken Man again! Chicken Man has been around in this show. We need Chicken Man's backstory. Deku needs me. I can't help a jailbreaker. I think we're a little bit past that at this point. I know the heart of a hero still beats inside you. It's so crazy to look back on season six and realize that Deku was doing all this and saying all this in that broken state. I'll take full responsibility. This device. There's something about that I really like. And show you where we're engaging with the enemy. It's bleak out there. It's not great. If you're compelled to act because of something he said, then I trust you. You had me at Deku. Any friend of Deku's is a friend of mine, but for real. You and my replacement helped me remember what I'd forgotten. The way I felt back then. My noble aspiration. Again, it's purpose. It's the very thing that All For One is using as his weapon. I'll back you up as long as I can! Crazy how many times we've, we've come this close to the end. I mean, that was centimeters. Can't fight inside the coffin anymore. Right, it's it doesn't matter. Dangerous. Right. Get him away from your friends. And into the one-on-one -on -one battle we've been waiting for this whole time. Forever. For seven seasons. Among people waiting for the Deku battle. Shigaraki. There are so many great ideas coming together at the same time. I mean, this season I feel like they're really doing a great job being very detailed and explicit about the importance of purpose and meaning. I've said this before and I truly believe it. The worst times of my life have often coincided with periods of intense purposelessness. And those periods are often shortly followed by very strange decisions. Which are difficult to see in the moment, but become clear with hindsight. Like, what was I doing? That's when you're most vulnerable. Not only to yourself, but to people who would use you. I think one of the inherent difficulties of the way this plays out in life is it's not likely that you'll find a Deku. Because in real life, people like Deku are busy. You know, they're busy doing great things and they have very engaging lives. They're highly productive. They probably have attracted a really nice, warm circle too, because you would also need a certain level of openness to what Deku has to say or who he is in order to benefit from Deku being there for you. And being a person who sees a lot of beauty in the world and has a very upward looking outlook, it can be difficult and tiring to deal with someone whose outlook is largely negative, especially if they get the sense that they don't want to be helped. So the problem gets worse and worse. People start filtering out the people that actually could help them or do love them by creating antagonistic incentives. And then people in that state, like for example, Shigaraki, either not having those influences or having not been able to see those influences, turn around and extrapolate that into all the world and society. Society is just evil and cruel. There is no goodness, there is no hope, etc. When of course there is. There are really beautiful, loving, warm, good people everywhere. It's the same mistake that you see on the internet where people think that people are just garbage and trash and can't reason and are deliberately hateful and inflammatory. While that definitely is a thing, you also have to ask yourself how much of it are you deliberately seeking out? And also how much of that is representative of the whole. I know from my experience, for example, that the internet can be very warm. Another one, and I guess related, is that even if it doesn't appear this way, there probably is some hope, at least in the ways you most want it or need it. As long as you're alive, the outcome of your life has not been determined. Goodness, fulfilledness, meaning are by no means off the table, even if people tell you that it is, even if they don't believe it. A problem to attach in here is that we often take the thing we most commonly see for all the different routes of possibility, which does not really give adequate room to the exceptional. Maybe tying all this together is something like deliberate faith, playing an active role in seeing more and then trying to live up to that. And a lot of the objections people will have, like Shigaraki, are not things they actually want to believe. It's the opposite. Underneath that is a desire to find those things, to have things be meaningful, to believe that people are good, to believe what they can get what they want, or more importantly, what they truly need. Oh, they added uh, General Nagata to the opening. R.I.P. to the very ironically named Coffin in the Sky. It's almost as bad as the Central Staircase. You ungrateful piece of gutter trash! You kill your comrade! Did they got die? Wait, wait. Thought you could manipulate her into serving you, huh? How'd that work out? She had a spark. You kept your hands to yourself. It was the same tactic when you raised me. Oh, what is this? Shigaraki introspection. To Shimura and All Might to push me. He did. That's exactly what he did. You plotted to hijack my mind and body for yourself. So he knows very clearly. I didn't like that much. So I hid the core of my being yeah, he rebelled. Deep, deep within. Well done, Shigaraki. He also has a spark. It's self-preservation. I'm following my own path, not yours. There's a crazy universe in which Shigaraki could end up being All For One's villain or enemy. I will protect Shigaraki. No. Who? Uh oh, Korgiki short... Korgiki? Korgiri is short-circuiting. If only this could have happened... I don't know, 10 minutes ago? Could have done this a little bit earlier? Now you look for your friends. I will not be your pawn. This is so cool and inspiring from Shigaraki. In that poor excuse for a home. My end goal is simple. 
I want the total destruction of everything connected to that house. <laughs> well, Shigaraki, my dude, we can we can demolish the house. That's all it is. <laughs> you had a rough childhood, man. It's okay. You did terrible things that it, it I mean, the terrible things are not okay. Some people will never forgive you. That's not something you can ask for. That's not the whole thing. That's not the end of the story. I mean, it could be, but it doesn't have to be. That metaphor, though, does fit really nicely with his quirk. Related to something I was just saying, it's a seed of pain just spread way too far. It's this toxic point that through contact spreads to everything else and seems like the entirety. That will save me. It is the only thing that can. Got it, hero. The sad irony for Shigaraki there, though, is that, like, that won't give him anything. There's no way I'll let that happen. But still, I can't pretend I didn't see a scared little kid crying inside you! Oh, that shot with lightning. Hopes! Wow. Hold on just a tiny bit longer, Gentle. I should have my new flight program operational real soon! This redemptive tag team that I never expected. I don't imagine he even knows I'm here. He knows, he saw you, he made eye contact. Whatever I do here, there will be no criticism or acclaim. That's not why we're here though, right? The irony of it though is that there probably will be a claim, but like, it's so much better than before. Here's the claim! Cameras, His biggest audience. hit Yap2 video. You may yet fall! Shut up and let me film! <laughs> He's got a lot of verve. Japan's in pieces. And Endeavor is being held responsible for that. All of this is falling on Endeavor? The entire world will see! That's how the business course does hero work! So this is UA High. I can't believe I foolishly attempted to infiltrate such an academy. You almost committed the biggest crime of your life, and that was interrupting the school festival. Imagine if that had never happened. While the electromagnetic barrier was down, I snuck into your devices. I'm streaming. What are you doing? <laughs> Get us streaming right to the here. world. Please, I already booted up the new system. I'm moving on to now I'm doing something more important. Yeah, two being. <laughs> this is exactly what happened. Much faster, as usual, than I thought it would happen. Heroes, I will annihilate you. Who do you even look at? Wait! No! I don't know, maybe it could be good. It could be all right. Okay, he went into the warp gate. Sometimes it just takes a little time to get through, I guess. Will trust in Midoriya. Let Midoriya do his thing with Shigaraki, and everyone else do their part. It's really hard for me to conceive of how Endeavor can pull this off. The completion of the Demon Lord. That is how my story will end. I won't Interesting. Shigaraki. This is our story. You are not gonna get your way! Okay, Titus. Very Final Fantasy X. One of the most interesting things for me in this season so far has been thinking in more detail about All for One. For a lot of the show, Shigaraki was sort of the point of focus, and I think, for me, more interesting because of the humanity. And this was obviously a destined matchup with Deku, the person who wants to save everyone, against the person who wants to destroy everything, but is the most in need of saving, and is also the hardest to save. But it's become, I think, pretty clear that, one, once Deku understands exactly what Shigaraki needs, and can, like, get to a point, like, one step beyond where he is now, which would be something crazy like actually loving Shigaraki like so eclipsing him in terms of his outlook that Shigaraki is something small he can grab in his hand and also that the final villain is not Shigaraki it's all for one which makes me wonder what what is the path to defeating all for one and what does it mean at first I was wondering if maybe there isn't some love in all for one somewhere I mean he seems to care about his brother maybe the justification for his villainy is something in the ballpark of there is this great range of people and some people do matter but because of humanity and the way it is and the fact that it's such a big base existence and people are so weak in like the worst way in the sense that they throw away what they have that they don't want to look at truth deliberately that they purposely embrace lies that they take easy outs and go for easy truths to make themselves feel better rather than growing and maximizing themselves and therefore somebody who is great does develop greatness is the most capable does seek the maximum amount of personal power maybe exists in like a different class of humanity. And that higher class has the right, maybe even the duty, to be the one at the top exerting order, enforcing will, reaping all the rewards. Kind of like the separation of humanity into a strata of a god and an ant. I'm just thinking out loud here, but if it is something like that, philosophically where he's going wrong is what I said earlier about mistaking what you commonly see for the best there is or what is possible, not being able to take the highest view that people do have this latent spark in them. That potential is this almost godlike force in it itself, even if it's not activated. And that may very well be the seed of the undoing. It's the underestimation of what people are capable of. It may very well even be the people he thought he had under his thumb, like Shigaraki. The future's so bright! 
We can't help but I'm really worried for Hawks. You still don't see how strongly the wind blows in my favor. The wind. Oh no, no, no. What just happened? No way. Take out. Oh jeez. I was flying so fast. Cause I wanted to be with you. Did he just have a mental breakdown? Hawks is a total riz cake. Oh. You can't unalive that snack. I'd enter my grief era. Oh. I don't know. I I'm a little confused. I'm disoriented. I don't know what happened, but I think Hawks is alive. That scared the hell out of me. I couldn't even appreciate the modern slang that she said. I also cannot understand the modern sli slang that she said. We deduced that there was imminent danger and took the liberty of inserting ourselves into the fray. Great deduction. Shinketsu High Schools! Hey, Shinketsu's here! I decide how the wind blows! <laughs> I'm not saying that's all for one. You okay, Hawks? Gently catches twice clone. Pretty sure those guys just saved my life. Great. Yeah, pretty sure they did, Hawks. I guess you've reached a point of desperation and are abandoning caution. Can't say I blame you. <laughs> okay, time to leave. It's time to go. Mushroom Girl, infect him with your spores. Mushroom Girl is the key. She's the key piece we're missing. <laughs> He's wide open. Don't let up on your attacks! It's got a sun quirk. Young generations don't remember a time before All Might was on the rise. This is also an interesting critique. You're ignorant to the way the world trembled before he became a symbol. Right. My golden age was defined by suspicion and resentment, exploitation and intolerance. Yay! This just seems like an endless problem. And again, it's one of those things where we mistake what we see for what reality is. There is a lot more exceptionalism than we see. There are a lot greater things possible than what we commonly experience. But the, the opposite is true as well. There are a lot of things that we don't want to go back to, but we don't have that vivid sense of it because we may not have lived through it. But there's nothing to say I can't go back there, or even worse. They only teach us the important stuff in contemporary history! Oh. Todoroki's my buddy, and I've been watching him and his pops. I'm here because I'm cheering for them to come out on top in this fight! Their hot-blooded passion burned away any fear I might have had of you! That's huge. One for all is a crystallization of power that can link people together. Right. It's not just that quirk. It's everyone You've involved. You've been connecting people too. Right. Still full of hope and light. But I hate it. No. The light is dying. They're just trying to pour gasoline onto the embers. Maybe he actually just can't see it. I think that actually provides some hope that he could. I don't know. This is an optimistic reading, but maybe he too has given up on something he would like to see. You naive fools are good. And then Korrigiri, giant Korrigiri. Oh, it's not Korrigiri, it's wow. It's giant Tokugami who thought he saw his mentor get shredded. Don't forget the era of darkness you ruled. Is one that we've devoured. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, we, we get your darkness. We just ate it. We overcame it. That speaks to something I really like about the heroes counter to the villains. This is sort of what I see in All for One now, and also something I thought about Shigaraki previously. They work so hard, go to just insane lengths, do terrible things to establish something that the heroes already know. I have discovered in all my infinite genius and wisdom that life has cruelty, and the heroes are like, and? <laughs> like, obviously, that's our starting point. That's what we're rejecting. That's why we're doing this. This was your big mic drop moment. Humans can be weak, that cruelty is abundant, that tragedy happens. But what are you doing about it? Not all of us, but some of us were born there. Some of us were not born there, but fell in there and then like got out of it. So what is it exactly you think you're trying to tell me? And what is it exactly you're trying to establish? And also like, why? If it's so terrible, why are you contributing to it? Things like nihilism, cynicism, they have their place. I mean, I think all ideas are worth exploring. There is definitely a negative extreme to optimism where you're not looking at truth like you can't accept that there are terrible things or that pain exists or that people have the capacity for great evil at the same time destruction and death you know those are kind of the norms life is counter that it's like you're having breakfast with someone and you want to have cereal but there's no milk and your friend's like what should we do there's no milk and you say i know what we should do there's no milk. Yes, <laughs> there's no milk. At best, you have been unhelpful. At worst, you are the facilitator now of us not finding milk. Much more serious than that. People are so terrible. First of all, we don't want to delude ourselves, but how about just for fun, we take the highest form of the argument and imagine there's something we could do about this. And what it'll probably point to is something that you can do. People are so X, Y, Z, just as a total package. Doesn't actually speak to a reality, it speaks to your mind, which is like a reinforcer of the terrible. You got this kid! Oh, Hawks supporting Tokyo Abbey. If I had known how significant all these characters would be... If I was able to inspire you, 
even a little bit and getting my wings torn up was more than worth it. It's a real real mentor, real teacher right there. This is your legacy. What for Toku Amity be doing this? Light of Baldur! <laughs> Everyone's talking about the darkness. Tokoyami's like, you called? The situation at hand was not yet as good or as terrible as it could be. No one was assured victory. That's so devious. Bad as this looks, it could still be worse. <laughs> so optimistic, amazing. That's an interesting point. That's I didn't think I thought about that. Go. Yeah. So even though it'll be a difficult fight, we can still overcome this and win. No, no, it's easy. All I gotta do is find the real Toga. When Himiko transforms, she can only use a person's quirk if she likes them. Hmm. The copies of Shigaraki and the others seem quirkless because That's she doesn't have enough affection for really them. Really. Fortunate. This guesswork, and I could be completely off. I think you're right. I trust you, Sue. Can't let things get worse. We need girl we talk. We find must find the real Toga. Find the real Toga. Do you even know who the real Toga is? The real Himiko Toga would be. Why? No idea. <laughs> How do you know? Look for the one who's crying. Look for the crying twice. I'll annihilate the heroes. What's the wrong? one not moving. The one paralyzed. I like Tomura and Toya enough. And fan service. I tried this before the battle too, but it was no use. Even though I love them, what's the matter with me? Yeah, she wants to be saved too. I wonder if it's something like it has to be reciprocal. Whether or not that's true, that would be a major shock to realize like, oh no, the person I'm running away from and trying to destroy actually loves me and accepts me in the way I've always wanted. The only other person to have done that is the one I'm currently emulating. <laughs> that would be a bitter pill, but an important one. Why can't I become Jean? Oh, I mean... Yeah, you're never gonna become Gene. Oh, I want to see this so badly. I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm like, especially personally invested in Toga and Uraraka and what they had to say to each other. Also, just horrible that she loved Gene that much. Actually, somebody who knew her and cared for her, finally, who's now gone. But then if that's how you feel, do you really want to kill Uraraka? I mean, if it's based on love, maybe there's some runoff from the emotional connection. So like, you know, she wants to see twice again, so she makes a million twices. Maybe her heart just wasn't in it to destroy the entire world as Shigaraki. These episodes are just a blur. There's just so much going on. It's so powerful. So many things coming together. Every character that we've introduced playing an important role for both good and bad. I mean, like, who's even left? I'm half expecting the next cameo to be Deku's mom. <laughs> he just shows up on the battlefield. How dare you threaten my son and unleashes her real quirk, Mommy's love. It's really interesting to see how this is playing out. I mean, all for one is powerful in his quirks, but where he really shines is his manipulation. It's like he is the arm and a large bulk of society is his fist. This is a really scary thought. I mean, like, people will not only be led into darkness, but will, like, fight and create their own darkness. There's a movie I watched that hit me like a ton of bricks in this way. I can't remember the name, but it was a movie about the buildup to and the subsequent war between North and South Korea. And there are scenes in it of students marching and fighting for the cause that would become North Korea. And I'm not trying to make a political or historical statement because I'm an expert on either. But like just the idea that people would earnestly go forward and be soldiers for a cause that could possibly directly bring just terrible tragedy and their own downfall and their own undoing and their own pain is kind of a chilling thought. And those kids I'm imagining in this hypothetical example, they're not evil. They they don't want terrible things to happen. They think they're fighting for the good. They think they're fighting for valid causes. They're just in a little bit over their heads because they've allowed themselves to become a container for someone else's ideology. And it feels good to them because it's purpose and they get to tell themselves they're fighting for something really important. It gives them meaning in their lives. That enthusiasm, that passion, that wanting to have a place in the world and feel like one is right and to think that one actually could influence the world for the better is taking internal priority over being careful, being humble, being reasonable, being able to forego the pleasure of easy answers for something a lot more nuanced and sound. That being said, and I I think this maybe speaks to what is one possible form of undoing for all for one is that people do have this potential spark and I think people generally they actually want to be good they want to do good I want to believe at least if they really knew what they were doing or what it would lead to they wouldn't do it manipulators will find people who haven't woken up in certain areas of their life and will like guide them in their sleep to something that benefits them at others expense I mean to go all the way into the complexity of it people do this thinking it's for the good also it's not always like a perilous scheme of I want to be demon lord or whatever it's like no this cause is good I can't really like convince everyone organically or genuinely that this is good. I'm going to find the people who are a little bit unsure and I'm going to like nudge them or push them or coerce them into fighting for my side. And because my side is good, it's justified, but it ends up being the exact same thing. And it also relies quite heavily on the idea that that thing actually is good, which it might not be. Because generally everyone thinks their cause is good. And also
also misses how that deepens the system, creates the standard for like how to create change, also creates more extreme fringe elements because it leads to lack of faith in the system. People overreact and everything becomes a lie or everything is manipulation or no cause becomes good. But anyway, that spark is in there. And partly what this looks like, or maybe one way to, to view this whole thing is it's like a sequence of people waking up. It's people understanding their role, understanding the difficulty of heroism, but also its importance, how interconnected it is, how it's bigger than it looks and how it's not about the glamour. You know, it's like the students filming. No one's really going to think they're as glamorous as Deku, but they genuinely are connected to what it means and how important it is. And that's enough. It's like better than glamour. It's real. It's also from within. It's not reliant on like views or eyes or the approval of people who maybe don't appreciate it. That's too fickle. It's out of one's control. And like one for all, it's more than just like first you have this person and then you have this person and more like, what would you call that? Like a pyramid, a branching tree where it starts with one and that creates the next, but it's not just another one. It's like the first one plus more and also more numerous. And not only does that continue down the line, but also loops back and reinforces. It's a growing spiral. And that potential, that spark people have when it's awoken will surprise all for one. He's not expecting it. He doesn't see it. Even with his individual growth and power, he cannot keep up with the scale and magnitude of that happening across a huge group of people, across society, even the small fraction of society that makes up the heroes fighting right now. It's getting bigger and bigger and people are showing up and it didn't start now. This has been a long thing that is sort of crystallizing here. So to that final exchange between Hawks and all for one, it's definitely not as bad as it can be. And I would argue it's even better for the heroes than all for one can possibly imagine.